Papa Tengas. Uh, so lahat, so may iwan na lang dito yung gusto magpaiwan. Yes. Ano mga utang? Tawa tali ako eh. Ang laki Ay, namatay. Ay,
Nakamisi kayo na ako. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, may the God who has given us power over the works of His hands be with you all. In His own life, Jesus Christ should clearly show us the dignity of labor. When He became incarnate, the Word of the Father was known as the Carpenter's Son and willingly worked for the tools of His trade. By working with His own hands, He transformed toil from being an inherited curse for sins into a source of blessings. If we do well our work, whatever it may be, and offer it to God, we purify ourselves through the labor of our hands and minds. We build up God's creation. Our work enables us to practice charity and to help the less fortunate. So that joined to Christ, the Redeemer, we grow in His love. Let us bless the Lord then and pray that He will shower His blessings on all who work and conduct business in this place. The Lord be with you. And with the Holy Gospel according to Mark, glory to you, O Lord. Jesus departed from the house of Jairus and came to his native place, accompanied by his disciples. When Sabbath came, he began to teach in synagogues, and the man who heard him were astonished, and they said, Where did this man get all this? What kind of wisdom has been given him? What mighty deeds are wrought by his hands? Is he not the carpenter, the son of Mary? the brother of James and Joseph and Judas and Simon, and are not his brothers here with us, and they took offense of him. The Gospel of the Lord. 
Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. For every petition, we say, Lord, graciously guide the work of our hands. Ulitin natin. Lord, graciously guide the work of our hands. Blessed are you, O Lord, who gave us the command to work so that relying on our minds and hands, we devote ourselves to perfecting creation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, graciously guide the work of our hands. Blessed are you, O Lord, who will that your Son, made flesh for us, should practice the carpenter's trade. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, graciously guide the work of our hands. Blessed are you, O Lord, who in Christ made the yoke of toil sweet and a spirit in light. Let us pray to the Lord. Blessed are you, O Lord, who in your providence Move us always to strive to do our best. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, graciously guide the work of our hands. Blessed are you, O Lord, who receive with favor the offerings of our labor, so that it becomes an offering of penance that brings joy to our brothers and sisters and help for the poor. Let us pray to the Lord. Blessed are you, O Lord, who graciously chose bread and wine the work of human hands is the sacramental sign of the Eucharist. Let us pray to the Lord. Before we get to bless the building, we shall now do the ribbon cutting. So, picture muna tayo. So, laya. So, pwesto muna, pwesto lang muna, tapos picture. Thank you sa nagka-camera. Tapos, mag-1, 2, 3 tayo. 1, 2, 3 tayo. Amen eh. Hey, palapak! Hey, divine blessings, power, power, power. Let us pray. Let us pray for all the offices in the building. Oh God, who in your wise providence. You are glad to bless all human labor. The work of our hands and our mind. Grant that all who plan and conduct business in these offices be through the guidance and support, come to right decisions and carry them fairly. We ask you these through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us pray for all the businesses, for all the stores in this building. God, who in your providence, you have placed the earth and its fruit under our care, so that by our labor, we will endeavor to ensure that all share in the benefits of creation. Bless all those who will do their business in this building, either as buyers or sellers, so that by respecting justice and charity, they will see themselves working for the common good and find joy in contributing for the progress of the earthly city. We ask you this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us pray for all the equipment in the, and all facilities in this building. Bless, O Lord, worthy of all praise, for you have provided your, for your perfection the creation of human labor and intelligence, and you show your own power and goodness in the invention of human race. Grant that all who will use equipments within this building may improve their lives, may recognize that you are wonderful in your works, and may learn to carry out your will more heavily. We ask you this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let this water call into mind our baptism into Christ, who by his death and resurrection has redeemed us.
the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, of great, Lord is with you. Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Saint Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now in the hour of our death. Amen. May your bread be the home of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, pray for us sinners, now in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace. Thank you. 